This is the war within prospecting. Let us begin. Okay, so when it comes towards the beta for the war within, everyone pretty much has access right now. So I figured I'd jump on and get a head start on like developing worth it and everything as we gather a large amount of data assets for that in order for the add-on to actually work. And as such, I was doing prospecting and the thought occurred to me, well, why not share it with you today, the results prior to this, as they are somewhat subject to change, depending, but we can get a good overview on what each different type of ore will actually provide you in the long run. So without further ado, I jumped on my little paladin guy on the beta and decided to actually prospect all of these materials, and these are the results. Starting with a handful of pebbles, this is like the base thing for dual crafting and this one is 1000 of these I prospected. This gave me the ambivalent amber 200 of those for 1000 of those pebbles. Not too bad, that is just a common gem that you get along with this, the amber. So really not looking for anything specifically crazy with that. However, when it comes towards our next one, which is the bismuth. So my next one, I actually prospected 1000 bismuth at a quality of one. So this is the rank one quality bismuth and it gave me 51 glittering glass, 193 handful of pebbles, and also more of that ambivalent amber, which is 43. Not too bad, I'm okay with that at quality one. I wasn't expecting anything crazy for that. So let's just jump onto our next one, which is the Akirite. Akirite was something that I was like, oh, okay, this one is probably gonna give me a bit better. And it didn't disappoint. By prospecting 1000 Akirite at a quality of one, we managed to get a hold of 41 glittering glass, handful of pebbles, 139, and 50 ambivalent amber. Now at this point, when I was actually crafting it, I was just like, okay, it's just giving me the same crap. However, this one actually does give you other different types of gems, which is the Stunning Sapphire. I got eight of those, and also the Extravagant Emeralds. I got 24 of those to go along with that. These ones are more of the rare gems, so we'll be wanting to actually look at a Kyrite in the future when it comes towards our crafting, as the Ambivella Amber seems to be literally what it says on the tin is a common item that's why it's green so we're going for those blues because they'll be in the early crafting for everything moving forward following on to that i did actually go on and do the iron claw ore which is our next ore of note 1000 of those prospected at a quality of one gave us a glittering glass of 42 handful of pebbles at 140 and also the ambivalent amber at 50. The additional items that you actually got with this was the radiant ruby 14 of those and the ostentatious onyx and that was 17 of those from that craft now following on to this i managed to get gain all of this data and i was like oh okay that's pretty cool i've got a decent benchmark to go off of when it comes towards worth it's flipping nice it's just a basic overview for that before the release okay we can see if things work accordingly on the beta before the release so worth it's updated However, I then thought about it and I was like, hmm, that's not good enough. So I decided to get a hold of all of the other different types of qualities at once. And this one was for bismuth. Bismuth at a quality of two gave me 40 glittering glass, 183 handful of pebbles, and also ambivalent amber, 49. Along with my bismuth quality 3, 1000 of those, we got glittering glass of 42 and a handful of pebbles at 170, along with the ambivalent amber at 59. This is where I actually did take note and actually wrote down that I probably need to get a hold of these item IDs for worth it prior to implementation. So then when I actually code it in, it was just a nice little note to myself, but 
it's something I do generally need to do. Coming on to that with my prospecting with Akirite, these are the ones that are the ones that I was really curious about, see if I actually get a better yield. And it didn't disappoint. At a quality of two, we got glittering glass of 44, handful of pebbles 149, and also Ambival Amber at 38. But those aren't the items I really care about. I'm looking at those stunning sapphires at 22 and the extravagant emeralds at 20. For the Akirite rank. Quality 3, we got the glittering glass of 41, 115 of the handful of pebbles, and the amber metal amber at 49, stunning sapphire at 24, and the extravagant emerald 29. Which brings us on to our iron claw ore, a rank quality of 2, which is the glittering glass at 24, handful of pebbles, 126, and also amber metal amber 49. The Radiant Rubies we got 23 of and 25 Ostentatious Onyx. With Quality Rank 3 we actually got a hold of 35 Glittering Glass, okay. Handful of Pebbles 113 and Amber Vellum Amber 51. And for our Rare Gems we got a hold of Radiant Rubies 32 along with our Ostentatious 25 Onyx. I did just say that back to front. I am very much well aware of that. However, there is more. With our last one is the rare or crafted item thing that you can prospect, and that's the only other one that you can pretty much prospect at this moment in time, and that is the Null Stones. Now, these are a rare quality gem. But these are a rare quality item which we can prospect, so I did a thousand. To gain an initial benchmark of, of from 1000, I managed to get a hold of Glittering Glass 65, Handful of Pebbles 238. The Radiant Rubies, which is our rare gems, we got 101. With Ostentatious Onyx 114, along with our Extravagant Emeralds 97, and our Stunning Sapphire at 88. Not too bad if I do say so myself, however, probably getting a hold of around about a all of those null stones, 1,000 of them, is probably going to cost quite a bit at the beginning of an expansion. However, we've got a good benchmark to go off of with those items, and I can then start building this into worth it moving forward. So when that's all said and done and ready for testing and everything, we can then actually work out what is the best way to craft, whether depending on which quality it is. At this moment in time, it does seem that the higher the quality, the more gems you will get of those rare ones, because we're really going for those rare gems. No one's really gonna care about the amber bell and amber, are we? Um, at, at the end of the day, it's mainly going for those rare gems and using them for those crafts. However, if you wanna, wanna if you want to gain a hold of all of that amber vela amber, if you need a, quite a bit of it, handful of pebbles is your, probably your best way to go if that has the best ratio to that. For the handful of pebbles, it's your best bet to get a hold of that amber vela amber, and that would be with its five to one ratio of five of those handful of pebbles equals one amber vela amber, and that's pretty much a given at this moment in time. When it comes towards getting a hold of different types of gems and everything, is the akirite. Akirite seems to be the best at this moment in time for the stunning sapphire and extravagant emeralds, as they will only yield those, and our iron claw ore is giving us our radiant rubies and ostentatious onyx. Having a look at this in the future, I can actually use that to benchmark everything that we're actually going to be crafting within dual crafting, so we can actually work out a better way of flow in order to extract resources at the beginning of the expansion in order to actually get the most out of it and then post those on the auction house. With the null stones, it's more of a given. Those are gonna be quite expensive at the beginning of the expansion. However, if it does fluctuate, it will be on worth it and we will be able to take advantage of the null stones and be able to get pretty much a decent size amount because looking at this at this moment in time, at all of the rare gems, for 1,000 of those null stones, it's about a do 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 do. Just looking at this, it's really close to a 100 for each of them, with 101 Radiant Ruby, Ostentation Sonics, 114, and the Extravagant Emerald 97 with the Stunning Sapphire 88. Obviously, I'll need to 
prospect a hell of a lot more in order to get a good average. That being said, that is a nice little look into prospecting. If you want any other different types of ones, then please feel free to post that in the comments. What should I check out and have a look into? Because I'm gonna generally go over this and have a look at it a bit more. However, that being said, I'm going to get into all of the other stuff I've got to sort out and preset for worth it. And if you wanna keep up to date with all of that information, then please feel free to jump onto the Discord, have a chat. I'm pretty much just sat here milling at this, yeah. I'm gonna be doing a lot of different types of crafts, so I will be bored, so you can message if you want. Other than that, take it easy, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.